Hi everyone, I don't believe today I'm gonna get to the coast, yeah! It's only 6.30 and I just woke up. It's heavily raining. This morning it wasn't supposed to rain. 8.39 and it's raining. Let's see how the situation is outside. morning with the fog and the rain it's raining pretty hard I will be waiting a little bit in the town if it stops raining I wanted to go to visit the point of the peninsula and the lighthouse there are two lighthouses kind of around this point let's hope that stops even if it stays loudy it's fine Let's hope it stops and I can move, I can visit the lighthouse and then hopefully find the green house. Wish me good luck! What a morning! I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast while I'm waiting. I have cereals and uh, oh, There are cars passing by yeah, by the tent. Also yesterday night and I really don't understand what, what are they doing here in my hope. Anybody is coming to bother because I am already bothered enough by the rain and I guess it's more than enough for the day. Canola with choco and cocoa. Thank you, but not chocolate soya. I mean, pasta. I had a couple of drops coming in and I hope it's not. Uh, the repair I made last year. It's not old enough anymore. I am just about the right space to sit with the, my legs crossed and my legs straight. I wish I had covered my motorbike yesterday night. I didn't because I thought it would rain, also because I was in a hurry to enter in my tent. It was very dark and some cars were passing by and I didn't want to be seen until 11 o'clock and raining as you can hear the, the noise of the rain. I'm going back in because I'm getting too wet. Beautiful trees over here. It's 12 and I'm finally seeing a little bit of a blue sky among the clouds. Nothing. I was just checking them up and then when I when I looked up my house, look what I got to see here. Is a house completely free. Peace having his meal on his own. Almost ready to go. I am trying to dry a little bit the cover of the tent with the motorbike feet. Ready to go. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the Miradoro. Ah! There's a viewpoint over the top. Carretera. Sono 
una tragedia. Sí, sí. Es, es, es mejor la de tierra que esta que le faltan los trozos. Claro, claro, sí, sí. This tree and that tree, they were a very, very old chestnut tree that came down and so they carved a um, horse out of it. It's super, super cloudy, but as it's not raining, I'm gonna go to the coast, to the point of the peninsula, dream point of the peninsula, the farthest point of the peninsula and get to the lighthouse, my first lighthouse, yes! No is the last village before Cabo Ome. Here I can get to the lighthouse. Local people told me that I can get to the lighthouse with a motorbike and I'm gonna show you the house is here on the planet. It's an off-road rural path. This right here is so good. <gasps> Getting a little higher, you can see the beach. We'll keep a lookout. You go oh, now no and we'll, we'll have our Coca-Cola <laughs> and wait for you. That's, that's wonderful though, adventurous. Yeah. How, long yeah. is, how long is your trip? How long is your trip? Oh, yeah. yeah. The weather is, is slowing me down. Yeah. Ah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to ride in the rain. No. 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 This is beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful. Now, here it's, it's warm. We're going inland. Well, I've come from Scotland, so it's cold and wet there. So this is months. Yeah, it's very cold. Short, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is summer. Summer. Yeah, good for us. Very good. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, Enjoy. Good luck. Enjoy. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this off road to get to the lighthouse. The road is spectacular. Amazing drive along the coast. A bit challenging also. Now I'm happy and glad I did uh, exercise on the road last night and this morning, so I was prepared for this one. <laughs> I'm sliding a little bit with the water. What the hell I'm doing? I'm I am almost there. I am sliding a little bit with the with the water on the soil, and so I have to be a bit careful. What the hell? I am 
gonna leave the bike here. Left and the bike here. But this is I can show you better like this. How it gets on the road and so I can just walk and the little little piece that is left. Yes. I passed by a very point of the peninsula that is between Vigo and Pontevedra. Here the place is called Cabo Ome. It's very very cool but it's cool. The ocean. It has a beautiful path there on the wind. The wind is so strong that it's moving my arm. I think I didn't come here because it's full of rocks. Maybe I would have done it, but I already came far enough. Even though the area is quite built with plenty of This cylindrical white tower, it is one of the tallest lighthouse towers on the entire Galician coast. It was built in 1853 and it has a height of 18 meters. It, its light reaches 12 kilometers. lighthouse sits exactly on the tip of the Cabo Ome, the most western part of the Morrazo Peninsula. It indicates the entrance to the Ria de Vigo between Cies Island and the Costa da Vela. The dense fog that frequently invades the coast caused the lighthouse to have a siren from 1888 to warn the sailors of existing danger and it was nicknamed the Cow of Fiste. You wouldn't believe it, but the wind is so strong, I can't hold still the phone. And I'm going back to the first lighthouse, this time from another perspective, coming from the top. From above, look how beautiful this is too. This red lighthouse is completely different. It's, it's low and larger. It dates back to 1918. It has a small terrace overlooking the estuary. Also, its light has a range of 12 kilometers. I think there is another lighthouse there. I'm gonna go and do it. 
house that I'm gonna sleep in a tent. Not tent. I'm taking a break and taking a shower tonight. Por allá yo. He entrado. Hemos venido por allí. Vuelvo con la moto. Me pongo al lado y pasamos en dos. Sí. Porque me parece demasiado fea la carretera. Gracias. Ah, qué calor. Incredible to see how this corner of pure and wild nature can coexist with this massive human presence that characterizes the southern coast of Galicia. If you like the video, give a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.